I grew up in a household without much support from my parents, um, without any, without much encouragement. I didn't have respect for myself, I didn't have respect for authority, and I was out of control. I began committing crimes at the age of 14, and it escalated until I turned 17 and committed the crimes that eventually sent me to Woodland Hills. Growing up here, I was, I was a violent kid. Went to the street, well, met some friends, and we started, to make, we started to make money by you know, robbing stores. I was um, exposed to some um, pretty violent stuff back home. I went towards the, like, the kids that were considered like thugs or gangsters. They, they accepted me. It you know, didn't matter where I was from, how I talked. It's, it's disturbing to me when a young person comes in here and has no belief in themselves. They have no hope. They're in despair. Uh, they're pessimistic about their future. Then when I first got here, it was just like, oh, okay. So, you know, first thing, first thing you get is like, okay, how do I beat this program? Why doesn't this kid care what's going on in his life? Let's try to figure it out and let's get him back to caring behavior. Because um, when they say and they don't care, they don't care, and that means they don't care about the consequences that's going to befall onto them, and they don't care about um, how they're going to hurt people or hurt the community. And that's where Boomer was at in his life, kind of when he walked through our doors. I struggled a lot because I was really selfish. I didn't know that. You know, and people would tell me I was selfish. I was just like, whatever. You know, I had a lot of stuff built in inside that I didn't really show people. At times it came out. I was really frustrated, and it came out, but I tried to like shield myself instead of helping myself, which, you know what I mean, it's like sweeping the dirt underneath the rug, you know what I mean, this dirt is still gonna be there, no matter how much you sweep. We try to build on the strengths of the young people we work with, and uh, try to figure that out, and, uh, and, and give them the opportunities, and then try to then empower them to help one another also. Is when we can turn a young person on, to their strengths and abilities, and they have hope. And they leave here with an optimism and a belief that they can be somebody of worth in their community. Three years ago, I was in, I was in jail, a juvenile um, center. And, and now, I, I uh, went through my first year of college. And that just shows what Woodland Hills does. It, it can change you, it, it, it redirects your path. Most kids have a little bit of fear of that future and that unknown. Um, man, once, once he got on that path, um, he's just been nonstop about playing football. And then the other thing, he's a smart young man. That was, that was another big point in my life. When I first got a 3.8, you know, I never got that my whole life, ever. I'm talking about since grade school, never. And when I got that, it was like, that was one of the things that really got me going, like, I can do it, you know. I just proved it. And now he's part of a national championship at uh, UMD, um, which is pretty incredible. And uh, he's got four years left of school there and uh, playing football, so um, he's already got one year down, and he'll probably graduate before he's done playing football, so he'll probably be working on a master's. You know, I hope I want to be successful. Now it's come to a point where I know I'm going to be successful. You have to hope at first, then know. And I think that's what happened to me. I'm not a singer. I think you like to sing. Life has become so complex, and the stresses of the world are impacting families so significantly. Families sometimes need some assistance in providing structure for their children because they have so many demands placed on them. And Woodland Hills has become that place where children can go and they provide some hope for the children, for the family. And um, as they stay here, they also begin to experience um, opportunities for themselves. And I committed several felonies that should have landed me in an adult women's correctional facility. Uh, luckily, the judge saw something in me and gave me a chance, and I was sent to Woodland Hills, um, where I did complete the program. 
Had I not completed this program, I would still be in prison in the Shakopee Women's Correctional Facility. I think Woodland Hills offered Sarah an opportunity to be safe and to know that she had potential. And we gave her the opportunities to save herself. When I first got here, I it took me some time to get adjusted to the program and figure out what is it that I'm here to learn? What do I need to do to my life to get where I want to be? I had never had much confidence in myself and I never got much encouragement or support from my parents. So to have other people my age and younger than me telling me that I'm good at something and that I can do things well, that was the most incredible boost. And then to get their respect and to earn their respect and then also to have the, the respect and the, the admiration from some of the staff here, that really boosted me and, and helped me realize that I'm a great person. I have a lot to offer the world. And if it had not been for those youth telling me, you can do this, you are worth it, and then getting the affirmation from the staff, I never would have achieved the things that I've achieved since leaving Woodland Hills. Sarah is amazing. She's determined and she's pursuing her education and I don't have any doubt that she's going to achieve exactly what she sets out to, do, to accomplish. I would be in prison, I would be dead, I would not be where I am today if it was not for Woodland Hills and the people who work here and care about all of us. It's just that simple, they saved my life. I've been in school for the last year and a half. I'm a junior in college already after only a year and a half pursuing a bachelor degree in paralegal with a 3.97 GPA. We exist here to, to turn lights on for children, to make them aware of assets and talents that maybe they weren't aware of. And when we're able to do that, when we can uh, unleash that power and that, that belief in oneself, uh, these young people go out and uh, do tremendous things in our community. 